Hello, today we're going to look at how you integrate a Git repository into Morpheus so that you can use the scripts or Ansible playbooks that you may have in your Git repository uh, in automation in Morpheus. So you can see here I am logged into my GitHub account. Uh, I have a repository here called Automation Training. You can see that it's private. This is the repository that I want to integrate into my Morpheus appliance. If I click on the repository, you can see as well as the readme, I've got a simple uh, bash script which installs uh, Apache, MySQL and PHP. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to integrate a Git repository, get it working, and then we're going to create a task in Morpheus that's going to use uh, this bash script, which is hosted in the Git repository. OK, so let's take a look at the Morpheus appliance. The place where you add a Git repository is under provisioning and code. Uh, you have an integrations tab where you can add a Git repository or a GitHub uh, integration. We're going to actually use the Git repository. Even though we're integrating to GitHub, I only want to integrate a single repository hosted in my GitHub account. So I, I need to select the Git repository uh, integration. So I'm going to click on that. And you can see it's similar to other integrations in Morpheus. You need to give it a name and then give it the, in, the information so that it can connect um, to the other system, in, in this instance, GitHub. Uh, you'll see that there's different ways that we can authenticate. We can do a username and password, we can do an access token, or we can do a key pair. We're going to look at the access token and the key pair in this video. Uh, username and password is no longer supported by uh, GitHub. Um, they've made some changes uh, to, to improve the security of their system. Uh, this is all documented in uh, some blogs on their account. Uh, you can see here's the one that talks about um, token authentication requirements for Git operations. Uh, you can see that uh, beginning August the 13th, 2021, they're no longer accepting account passwords when authenticating Git operations. So you need to use uh, an SSH key or, or a, a, an access token. So we'll look at the access token first. So if we go to the integration page on Morpheus, you can see we've got a field where we need to put the access token in. Before we can do that, we need to actually generate the access token itself, and that's done on the GitHub side. So I'm going to go to my Git repository again. In the top right of the screen where my profile is, I click on the icon and I need to go to my settings. And then in the left hand side, I go all the way down to the bottom and click on developer settings. And then select personal access token and then hit generate new token. So I need to give it a name. So I'm just going to call it Morpheus personal access token or Morpheus Pat. I can select an expiration. I'm going to leave it at 30 days. I'm going to delete the access token at the end of this video. And then I need to scope uh, what access this to token is going to have. I just want it to uh, allow me to access a repository. So I'm just going to click the uh, repo scope and then I click generate token. OK, now this is the only time that you're going to see the token. Um, if you move off the page and come back again, you won't be able to see it again. So make sure you copy it now. So I'm going to copy that. That's copied. I can then go back to my Morpheus integration and paste in the access token into that field. I also need to paste the access token into the password field as well. So it's not it's not obvious, but you need to have the access token in the password field and the access token field. I need to enter the username of my GitHub account. So I'm going to put that in there. I need to enter the branch. I'm going to give it a name. So I'll just call it um, Morpheus GitHub. And then finally, I need to give it the Git URL. So if I go back to my uh, GitHub account and go to my repositories, click on the repository that I want to integrate to. And on the code button, I can get my um, URL here. So I want the HTTPS URL, so I can copy that and then paste that in there. So that's all of the information that I need to allow Morpheus to integrate to the automation training repository in my GitHub account using a access token. OK, so you'll you'll see that you can also enable Git repository caching. So it does explain what that is. So if it's disabled, which it is by default, 
Morpheus will fetch data from the remote Git repository on every automation execution. So every time you run a task that's uh, configured to use that repository, it will go and pull that information down. Or you can enable that to allow Morpheus to cache, um, to, to do the cache instead. So I'm going to leave it disabled. So I click Save Changes. And that's it. That's my Git repository integrated. If I click on the repository, you don't actually see much information apart from the actual uh, URL of the Git repository. If you want to see that it has actually worked, what you can do is if you SSH to or connect to your appliance, so this is the Morpheus appliance, and if you go to this directory location, var opt Morpheus, Morpheus local repo git, and do an, uh, an ls in there, you will see that you have a long directory name. Okay, now I've just added the, uh, I'm going to do it in date format. There you go. This is the integration that I've just added. If I go to that folder or that directory, there's the actual uh, contents of the Git repository. Okay, so there's the README and there's the uh, lamp on Ubuntu .sh script. So that proves that Morpheus has managed to connect to the Git repository and pull the files down. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to integrate to the same repository again, but we're going to do it using SSH keys. Okay, and then at the end of that, we'll create a task that will use the lamp on Ubuntu .sure script and we'll run that and check that everything's working. So what I'm going to do first of all is I'm just going to remove the repository because we're going to be adding the same repository. So I'm just going to delete this GitHub repository because we're going to add it in again, but we're going to add it using SSH keys. Okay. I'm then going to go to my appliance. I need to have a, an SSH key pair. Okay. Now you can generate the key pair on your, you know, a MacBook system or a, a Linux system. It doesn't have to be the Morpheus appliance, but I'm going to generate the key pair uh, on my Morpheus appliance. So I'm going to go to the home Ubuntu system. I'm going to make a directory. I'm just going to call it test keys. I'm going to store my keys in here. Okay. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to run SSH dash keygen. Hit enter. I need to specify where I want the keys to be stored. So I want them to be in home Ubuntu test keys. And then I need to make sure I specify the name of the private key like that. Uh, I can choose to enter a passphrase, but I'm, I'm not. I'm just going to leave that blank. And there you go. Now, if I do an LS, you'll see I've got two files in there. That's my uh, private key and that is my public key. OK, so what we're going to do in a minute is we're going to take the public key and we're going to put that into our into the GitHub account and we're going to take the private key and we're going to put that into Morpheus. OK, but before I do that, if we just take a look at the private key and if you just take a look at the top, you'll see that it's actually an open SSH key. OK, now what you what you may find is depending on which operating system you run SSH key gen, the default key format can differ. So this is an Ubuntu 2004 system. The version of um, SSH key gen that we have on this system, the default uh, key format is open SSH. But if you were to run SS the same command SSH key gen, key gen on an older system, for example, on CentOS 7, you may find that it the key format is different. Um, when I tested it, the key format on a CentOS 7 system was in PEM format. Now, Morpheus will only accept keys in PEM format. So if I try and add this key to Morpheus, it will actually fail. Okay, so I've got a couple of couple of choices what I can do is I can convert this key so all I do is ssh keygen hyphen f give it the name of the private key and tell it that I want it to be in pem format and then I'm going to overwrite it there we go so now if I look at that same file again you'll see that it now no longer says it's an open SSH. It says begin RSA private key. This is actually a PEM formatted key. So this will be 
uh, acceptable to Morpheus. Okay. The other thing I can do is I can just generate the keys in PEM format right at the beginning. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to remove those two files. So now I've, I've deleted both my keys and I can just do SSH key gen just like before. Hyphen M PEM and then tell it I want an RSA key and then I need to say where I want the keys to be stored. Okay, got the two keys again and if I look at the private key again you'll see that it's now generated it in the PEM format which is what we want. So I'm going to use these two keys uh, going forward but that's just something to watch out for. If you're having difficulty uh, adding the keys into Morpheus it's most likely that they're not in the right format they need to be in PEM format uh, and you will find differences between running SSH key gen on different uh, operating systems. Okay so what we'll do first of all is we need to add the public key to the git repository so I'm just going to cap the public key and I'm going to copy from where it says SSH RSA I'm going to copy copy everything right the way to the end so I'm going to copy that I then need to go to my um, my repository. So make sure you're clicked onto the repository that you're going to be integrating to. And you go to the settings of the repository itself. So I click on settings. And then on the left hand side, scroll down and find deploy keys. Click on deploy keys. OK, I already have a key in this repository, so I'm going to actually delete it. OK, and I'm going to add a new deploy key. OK, you paste the key into there. So that's the this is the public key that I've just copied. I'm going to give it a title. I'll just call it Morpheus test key it can be whatever you want and then add key. So that's my public key now added to my repository. I now need to add the private key to Morpheus. So if I go to infrastructure and trust and then click on key pairs. This is where you add your key pairs into Morpheus. So you click add. So I'm going to give it a name. Morpheus test key pair. You don't necessarily need to add the public key and you can you can just add in the private key and Morpheus will be able to work out the public key from the private key. So I'm going to go to my appliance. I'm going to cap the private key. And I'm going to copy, including the headers, the entire key from there to there. And then I can paste that in there. Now, when I save changes, if, if I didn't have a PEM formatted key, if it was open SSH formatted, this is where you'd see the error. You'll see an, a, a red error on here saying uh, Morpheus can't calculate the public key from the private key. Um, but this one should be okay. There we go. So I've now got my uh, key pair, Morpheus test key pair down here. So I can now add my Git integration to Morpheus again. So I do it in the same, exactly the same way as before. I go to provisioning and code. I add, sorry, integrations, add a Git repository. I'm going to call it Morpheus GitHub. It's on main. I don't need to specify a username and password or access token. I just need to select the key pair that I've created previously in the previous step. And I need to give it the uh, the Git URL again. But what I need to make sure, if I go to my repository and code, I need to give it the SSH URL. So click before we use this URL, the HTTPS one. Now we need to use the SSH one, which is slightly different. So I copy that, paste that into there, and then save changes. And that's now successfully authenticated using a uh, an SSH key pair. Okay. So now let's test that the uh, Git integration has worked. So 
I should have an Ubuntu system which I've pre previously provisioned, so PJ Test01. So this is just a base uh, Ubuntu system. So we're going to actually run that lamp on Ubuntu script um, as a task. Okay, so I need to create a task. So I'm going to go to Library Automation. Uh, I'm already on the Tasks tab. I'm going to add a task. I'm going to call it Lamp. It's a shell script. Okay. It needs pseudo privileges. And this is where you set the repository. So if I leave the source set to local, then I would have to paste the contents of the bash script in here, but we're actually going to be taking it from a repository. So I'm going to change the source to repository. I now no longer have the content field, but I can select my Git repository. So obviously if you had multiple repositories, the, the list would be uh, slightly longer. So I've selected my repository. Okay, and then the file path is the actual name of the script. So it's called, let me just copy it from here. So, so I'm going to copy that. And then the version ref is, is the branch. So you can tell Morpheus to go to different branches, but this is, this is on the main, um, is in the main branch. Okay, and then I can save changes. So I've now created my task. If I now go to my instance. Okay, and then actions. Uh, ju well, just to prove. So if I, because we're installing Apache, if I copy the IP address. There we go. So it's not going to give us anything. Uh, what this does, this actually installs a little shopping list application so if i just go to the url where where it should eventually work there's nothing there either so we'll come back and test these urls once we've run the run the automation so i'm going to run my task select lamp execute so this is now executing the task if we go to the history tab you'll be able to see the uh, the status of the task Okay, so you can see that the task is now executed. You'll get some output from the task uh, in the window here. So you can scroll down and see uh, the output. And then we can test now. And there we go. So that's what we would expect. Just this very, very simple application. And we can check that Apache is installed if we just copy the IP address. There we go, just a simple uh, test page. And that concludes this video on how to integrate Git or a GitHub repository uh, into your Morpheus appliance. I hope that you found it useful and informative. And don't forget to keep an eye out uh, for additional uh, Morpheus instructional videos. Thank you.